Hello everyone, my name is Yuki. I'm your whistling instructor today. Thanks for being interested in whistling. Today's tutorial is for those of you who are having a hard time trying to get a whistle note, or those of you who have friends and family who want to learn how to whistle. Before I start, I just want to mention that I really, really want to develop this online whistling community. So I'd be super happy if you joined us by subscribing to my channel and other whistling YouTubers channels and go and watch and comment on their videos to, you know, really make this whistling scene big on YouTube. I really appreciate your participation. And um, if you have any questions about this video or anything about whistling, you can leave a comment here in English, Japanese, Spanish, French, or Portuguese. I do any of those five languages. And even in other languages, I will use Google Translate and try to answer. So um, without much further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. The first note is actually one of the most difficult things to get in terms of whistling techniques. And the reason is because it's so difficult to teach, you know, because we can't see inside someone else's mouth when they are whistling or when they're trying to whistle. So it's very difficult to teach. Now, in order for those of you who can't whistle after many tries or, you know, after trying for many years, even uh, to be able to whistle, you need to have a basic understanding of what a whistle sound is. The source of a whistle sound is this hiss sound or hiss noise in the mouth, which is basically the pronunciation of H, H. <laughs> the friction of the air against the different structures inside of your mouth, like your palate, your tongue, your, uh, your teeth, lips, everything. And when you think about whistling, you usually think about the lips, but the hiss noise is actually coming from your palate. This is the first key point that you should remember. Now, there are many different ways to whistle. For example, um, All of these different things are basically using the same principle or similar principles in that the breath friction inside your mouth is somehow converted into this whistle noise. So there are many different frequency waves, noises in any kind of breath noise. You're not hearing one note, but you're hearing a combination of a myriad of uh, different frequency noises. And how whistling works is that by shaping your mouth correctly, you extract one of those frequencies and amplify it. And that's how the physics of whistling, you know, in simple terms works. If you're more interested in the real physics of it, there is a Wikipedia page on physics of whistling, and it's really super advanced, complicated physics that I don't really understand. But if you're interested, you can go and read up on that. Well, what I want to teach you today is the very, very, you know, most popular way of whistling, which is called the pucker whistle. This one. The word pucker means to put your lips together and bring it forward like when you pronounce the oo sound. And this is probably the one you associate most often with the word whistling. So how do we do this? Let's do it. Today I have three different methods uh, for you, and you can try either one of them to see if you can get a whistle note. The first one is blow the candle method. This is what's used very often um, in Japan, I think. You say, you know, you put your lips together and blow out like when you blow the candle. But you see the difference, you know? Um, the three little pigs and the wolf, the wolf goes like this. and the cheeks are puffed up. And this doesn't really help with getting the initial whistle sound. So you do this and then control your cheeks to not puff them up. If you need, you use your hands to support, but you should be able to do it without your hands. Now you're hearing this F 
sound, you know, some, something like an F sound. And weaken it until you don't really hear the sound, but you are still blowing, breathing outwards. At this point, it's really close to the whistling sound. Now, what we need to do from here is to direct the airflow diagonally downwards instead of straight ahead. Because when you whistle and you put your, or when you blow and you put your hand right in front, you'll feel the air on your palm. And you want to gradually bring this direction down. Don't move your face, okay? Don't move your face, but just the direction of the the, the breath, okay? And in order to do this, you bring your jaw, you know, a little backward and bring your upper lip a bit to the front. So if your mouth is like this right now, you want the two lips to be lying like this, you know, instead of this, you want it like this. Now, if you've already gotten the sound so far, congratulations. If not, let's move on to the next method. The second method is called the pew pew method. P-E-W-P-E-W, -P -E -W, pew pew. Um, you may be already hearing me, pew 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 pew. You hear this tiny whistle sound and you do it without pronouncing the word. So just do it with your breath and not vibrating your vocal cords. And when you do this, try to feel your breath in the inner side of your lips, not out here. So basically around here. And it would help to have your tongue, this is your tongue, touching your bottom teeth in the front. This should help. And now you gotta just, you know, get this a straighter tone. How's that? Did you get it? Not yet. All right, let's move on to the next method. The next method is called the he, you method. You know, he, she, I, you, he, you method. And the reason is because we want to create this hiss noise that I mentioned earlier with the H sound and bring your mouth into the U shape. So this is how I do it. Make a really big noise. Make sure it's an H instead of an SH. This is not good. This is the noise you want. And Slowly, continuously bring it to a U. And don't forget your tongue position, either touching your uh, lower front teeth or the inside of the lower front teeth or down around your gums, down here. And at this point, some of you may have already gotten the note. If so, congratulations, that's your first whistling note. If not, again, we will consider the angle of your breath. Find the right angle, change it slowly, up, down, up, down, until you find this really, you know, nice spot where you hear the whistle. And if you're still not getting it, you might be blowing a bit too hard. So decrease the amount of breath that you're using 
or if it's not enough, increase, you know. So it's a, as an adjustment of two things, the angle of your breath and the amount of your breath. With these two parameters, if you adjust them nicely and start from the you should be able to get the whistle sound. How's it so far? Actually, I forgot to say something super important when I recorded this video. When you get to the U or the U mouth shape, you need to pucker your lips inward and not outward. What I mean by this is that your lips shouldn't look like you're about to kiss someone, but more like you're trying to drink from a cup using a straw. Keep this in mind when you try the three different methods. Even if you don't get the note yet, don't worry. For some people it takes like, you know, just five seconds to get this. For others it can take many days. And it's totally normal to take more than five seconds. So just practice and adjust all these different parameters. Try the three different ways I mentioned. And if you still don't get it, it's totally okay to go watch other tutorials on YouTube. I think there are many tutorials on how to whistle on YouTube. So try all of those different methods. If you still can't get it, come back to this video, watch from the beginning, try the three methods and see how that goes. The key is really to remember the physics of how it works. It's the <laughs> the H noise that is converted into the whistling noise by shaping your mouth correctly. And I do give online private lessons, so contact me from my website or from one of the social media accounts stated below uh, if you want a private lesson on how to whistle or if you already know how to whistle, how to improve you're whistling. Thanks for watching this video so far. I really appreciate your time and I really hope that you got a whistling note today. If you haven't, rewatch it uh, or go look for other videos. And uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on the bell for more whistling tutorials and whistling videos. And just go search around on YouTube to see what you can find about whistling. Keep whistling and have a great day. Mm -hmm.